here and I'm going to show you how I use alcohol inks with Yepo paper. I've got some blending solution as well that I'm going to use and I've put it in a mister bottle just to make it easier. Now I've put foil down on my work surface to protect it. Alcohol inks stain everything and I'm also wearing gloves. So I'm going to start by smooshing and I'm just going to add, randomly add four colors of alcohol inks onto my foil. The last color is metallic silver and that has to be shaken up to blend it well before you use it. I'm just going to add a couple little drops. Now I'm going to take the yuppo paper and I'm just going to press it down into the ink, give a little bit of a twist and pat it into the ink and then I'm going to pull it up and I'll see where there's some blank spots and dip it down and press into the ink again. And you can see that the ink is already drying. It dries really fast on the foil, so you have to be quick with this technique. So I'm just going to take some of that blending solution in a mister, and I'm just going to give a couple of sprays just to reactivate everything. And I'm going to drop in a second piece and smoosh it. Again, this is the Yepo paper, which is a synthetic paper. It's almost like a plastic finish, and the ink just sits on top rather than being absorbed. I'm just dipping it in and now I have two beautiful pieces that I can use for backgrounds or for die cuts. Another technique for alcohol inks and yepo is to just add drops of color randomly on your piece of paper. I'm starting out by adding lots of different dots of yellow, different sizes and the ink spreads to create different sizes of circles. Now I'm going to fill in some of the blank spots with some brown. It's a really beautiful color combination. And also I'm going to put a, some brown drop inside of some of the yellow drops, which adds another tone to the piece. My third color is gold metallic. Again, I have to shake that up to mix it well and just add a few drops. I've decided I'm going to add some more color and just keep filling in until the paper is completely filled. This will add lots of ink to your paper and since it sits on top you have to wait quite a while for this to dry. This will probably take about half hour to an hour and the smooshed ones they dry really quickly so probably in a couple of minutes. Now the next step I'm going to show you, you have to start out with completely dry pieces. So here is the smooshed one and it's completely dry. I've got the blender solution in the mister bottle. I'm just going to take the cap off and I'm just going to flick the plastic tubing to drop some drops of the blender solution in and you can see how it reacts with the dry ink. Now I've put the cap back on and I'm going to give a couple of spritz onto the piece and that's a finer mist so you have smaller dots. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see. It's just a beautiful reaction and it just is, makes a beautiful artsy background. It looks like an underwater sea or you could use it for a galaxy or stone work. Just a lovely, lovely design and very easy to do. So here's the second piece of Yapo that I smooshed that's lighter. I'm just spraying with lots of the blending solution and you can see the reaction. It's so beautiful. Now when the the ink is dry, the blending solution pushes the ink out, so if the ink is dry to start with, it creates a resistance and so the, the circles don't go very big when you add the blending solution to create that beautiful marbled effect. So here's the one that I did the drops of yellow and brown and gold. I'm just spritzing a little bit and now I'm going to flick some more on, some larger drops. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see the beautiful design. It's really unique and it's so easy to do. Now I have one more piece and I've done the drops of ink with the blue and green. And I'm spraying lots of blending solution. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please give me a thumbs up. 
and I'm going to share some cards I made with these samples. And thanks so much for watching.